I think that how to practice is at least as important as what you practice. And I would even go as far as to say that it's more important. Hello and welcome to another video with me, Elmo J. Karilan, and it's good to have you along. You can call me this guy if my name is tricky to pronounce. Now, like I said, I believe that how you practice is at least as important as what you practice. So let's say, for instance, you're practicing this. There's quite a big difference between you practicing that really focused in a quiet environment with no distractions to, let's say, you're watching The Simpsons and playing that and the rest of your family is having a fight and whatever. The results will be dramatically different. So here are seven tips to help you out. Number one, practice what you don't know or push boundaries. I know I've fallen into that trap of just practicing what I already know and it doesn't help, not really. That's kind of maintenance instead of improving. If you want to improve, you need to push those boundaries. That can be any which way. It can be increasing speed. It can be learning new scales. It can be learning new songs, new techniques, whatever. Just make sure that you try to learn new things or push your boundaries. Number two, play with others. Now, I know this might be nearly impossible for some people. Maybe you live in a remote village out there with nothing but wolves around you. I don't know. But if you can play with others, play with others. They will teach you so much and you will teach them and you will enjoy it that much more. If you can't play with others, at least play over backing tracks or over actual tracks. It will give you a musical setting, which is also very much more enjoyable than just noodling random stuff into the emptiness. <laughs> That's what I sometimes do. Noodle random stuff into the emptiness that is my life. Number three, set goals. Yes, I've talked about this elsewhere, but this really just is that important. Set big goals and break those down into smaller goals. So you pick a guitar player like, let's say, Gary Moore. I want to become like Gary Moore. I want to become like Ingve Malmsteen, Steve Vai, and you, you can deconstruct those and they do similar things. That, that gives you smaller goals. If you don't have goals, you'll just be wandering around in, in darkness aimlessly and you'll get nowhere really fast. If you have goals, you will get somewhere way faster than if you just do random stuff. Now teachers will give you certain goals like learn this song, learn that song. If it's a good teacher, he or she will give you, a, will have something in mind for you more than just random songs. If you're learning by yourself, set goals just really helps. Big and small goals. Four, when you have those goals, measure your progress. So if it's speed you're after, use a metronome. That will really help you measure your progress. Plus it's the added benefits of you get your next goal automatically. So if you want, if you can do it at 120, your next goal is the next number on the metronome. Easy. It's great for motivation when you notice that oh, I've progressed so much more than I thought I would. It's brilliant stuff. If you're working on something that a metronome won't help you with, film yourself or record yourself. That also works great. Number five. Now I mentioned in the beginning that practicing that spider exercise thing, that there's a difference between practicing it kind of in a calm environment with nothing distracting you versus watching Simpsons and doing that and your family having fights or whatever. Quality always beats quantity. Really focus when you practice, put away your phone. If you don't need it, just put it into flight mode or in quiet mode and leave it in another room. Tell your family to leave you alone <laughs> or your roommates or whatever. Do everything you can to minimize distractions. Number six, hone in on problems. So I had this problem when I was doing a Steve Vai variation of the spider exercise. That bit, for some reason, was a problem. So what I did was I just played that. So what happens if you just Start over from the beginning. Let's say you mess this up. And then you start over from the beginning. What you'll, you'll become really good at this. 
and you'll probably mess up this again. Focus in on the problems. That will make you progress much faster. Another example might be uh, if you're having trouble, let's say, going in this direction, playing just a regular style, a regular spider exercise. And you're having trouble with your right hand, just play four notes. I think I've... I think I just wrote the next hit song. <laughs> That will make you progress faster. And kind of closely tied to that is don't uh, learn bad habits or mistakes. So see to it that you're holding the pick correctly and everything is in order. That can be a slightly more tricky subject to preempt, as it were. A teacher will help you with that stuff. Imitating how it looks when others do stuff that can help because it's really difficult to unlearn uh, bad habits and learn good habits. And last one, and I think this is so important, practice regularly. Whatever it is you do, do it on a daily basis. If you want days off, take a day off. But don't practice like two hours on Tuesday and one hour on Saturday. Make it 15 minutes a day, every day. You can actually get more results with less time if you just do it regularly. Trust me on this, it just works 15 minutes a day every day always beats a long session on Saturday even if you practice five hours on a Saturday uh, you won't get the same results as if you practice 15 minutes a day every day and you can take a break on Saturday for instance just see to it that it's kind of regular it's the same as going to the gym uh, if you go to the gym every day do 20 minutes you'll get in shape don't know when but you will get in shape. If you do five hours on Saturday, won't work. You'll just be totally shattered on Sunday and uh, nothing will happen, really. The next Saturday, you do five hours again and you're shattered on Saturday. <laughs> Sorry, Sunday. But 15, 20 minutes every day, you'll get in shape. So if you want to watch more of my lessons, there's a playlist here. There's also a playlist with my music. Check those out. Come join me on Patreon. You get access to my music lessons and a bunch of exclusives. There's a link in the description to that. You can even take that stuff for free. Other than that, I hope you like the video. Comment, like, subscribe and all that.